I'm here on Monument Avenue with Senator Jennifer McClellan. And Jennifer, tell me your thoughts on what's going on here today. So it's, um, it's really amazing. Um, I think there's just a very positive energy of a lot of people who are excited to see change. Um, I, had, I grew up uh, in the Richmond area. I've lived in the city of Richmond in this neighborhood uh, for almost 20 years. And today is the first time I've ever set foot on that circle because it was just everything that it symbolized was so painful. I would try to ignore it as much as I could. Um, and I never really realized how much of a burden that was to try to push the trauma away that it represents um, until I heard it was coming down. And so now to be out here and see so many people, I mean, kids taking graduation pictures up there, young families who are just here for the history moment, but are also here because it's the beginning of, of healing. Um, but we've got a long way to go. And now we have to address the, um, the systematic inequity that is just as much a monument to white supremacy as, as this statue. Right, and, and, and there was truly a palpable sigh of relief. Yeah. I was absolutely amazed. And then I'm also surprised constantly, day by day, 12 days now, I guess, is it, hasn't it been no, since nine, 12, that together. horrible murder? <laughs> um, and the momentum's still going, going yes, strong, yes. and it really does seem more like an uprising than it seems like a simple protest. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can feel in the air that it's, it's not just about we're gonna protest and then go back to business as usual. Something's different. And, and you can feel it and, you, and see it. Uh, it's the beginning of, of real change. And uh, we just got to keep the momentum up. And making good on all the promises in that document yes. that was our founding. Exactly. Thank you so very much, Thank Senator, you. for all you do. Thank you. Sure.